the African memory of Mark reassessing mm. early church tradition, that's what really drove this book. It, it really did. If you go to the literature, the best scholarly literature on uh, the gospel according to Mark, it's hard for me to believe now that I've worked through all this, uh, this work, but you can find almost no reference at all to uh, uh, the African memory, which is, as I said, uh, born in Libya, comes to Jerusalem, becomes involved in the very earliest phases of uh, Christian ministry before the crucifixion, and the mother of Mark is one of the key players here because we know from the text in Acts that it was, and also in Mark, that it was, the, it was at the house of the mother of Mark where the disciples gathered before uh, the crucifixion, where the, uh, uh, the Lord's Supper was first instituted, that, that occurred at her house, according to, in my view, the very best evidence. And then, for example, when uh, Peter um, escapes from prison, uh, he's being chased by Herod, uh, he is under dire threat. He would be killed on sight if he could be found. Where did he go? He was dazed. Do you remember in the, in the Acts uh, um, recollection, he was dazed. Where did he go? Well, he found his way, not a very long distance, to the house of Mary, the mother of Mark. Now, you find no reference to this in, in the best scholarly literature of Europe and America. I think it deserves a hearing. Uh, I, all I did, in my view, was take the hagiographical literature, that means the literature of the memory of the saints, and try to track it down as early as I could. For example, in the case of Mark, uh, I, I, I found what I think is uh, the best uh, archaeological read of why we know that Mark was in Alexandria at his death. Because the eight churches that are the oldest ones in uh, Alexandria, uh, dating, in my view, back to the first century. But the oldest church locations are all recollections of episodes in the death of Mark. The death of Mark was the beginning of uh, the expansion of Christianity in, in Africa. So it's not accidental that the uh, uh, you know, the uh, patriarchate uh, of, of the Coptic Church is and also recognized in, in the West uh, is the, uh, uh, the patriarch of the Sea of Mark. And that includes the whole of Africa. So Africa is in a sense, with all of its diversities, all of its diverse languages and cultures, Africa is in a sense unified by the memory of Mark. 